Hello everyone, here in this practice we are going to learn how to define foreign key constraints during creating a table. We have here three practices. Create a table called depth underscore new. So we can create the table depth underscore new. The table contains three columns depth underscore id as number of seven and we have depth underscore name as varchar220 and we have location underscore id as number of four and we have here requirements define depth id as a primary key so we can just simply put here primary key and we have here a requirement depth name as not null we can put here not null and close the brace of the table and run the create statement so table depth underscore new created the second requirement create a table called emp underscore new so we can create a table emp underscore new contains four columns emp underscore id as number of seven and we have emp underscore name var chart two of forty and we have email var chart two of sixty and we have salary here number of five and the last column which is dipped underscore id defined as number of seven so we have here requirements defined employee id as a primary key so we can put here primary key dipped id foreign key referenced dipped underscore new dipped id column so we can put here constraint name of the constraint for example dipped underscore id underscore foreign key references the parent table which is dipped underscore new and between the braces the column which is dipped underscore id and here also one of the requirements salary must be between 400 and 20,000 we have here a check constraint so we can just put check salary between 400 and 20,000 and here also email unique we can just simply put here unique and the last requirement employee name not null we can put here not null so we have a table emp underscore new five columns employee id primary key employee name not null email unique salary check constraint between 400 and 20,000. and the last thing which is dipped id is a foreign key constraint references the parent table dipped underscore new dipped underscore id column run the create statement and here we go table emp underscore new created the last thing in the practice test the constraint by inserting sample records so let's first try to insert a record into the table depth underscore new insert into depth underscore new values as we can see here depth underscore new contains three columns depth id so we can put for the department id 100 for the department name for example it for the location id for example 1000 so this is the record of the depth underscore new so as we can see one row inserted try to select from the table select star from depth underscore new here we go we have one record let's try to insert a record into emp underscore new values and specify here the employee id one the employee name for example tom the employee email for example tom at test.com the salary for example 4000 and the department id for example let's try to put here 10 run the statement as we can see here integrity constraint depth underscore id foreign key violated parent key not found the depth underscore id of the emp underscore new table defined as a foreign key a column where foreign key is defined must accept a value that is matching an existing value in the parent table or be null so 10 here is not exist in the parent table which is depth underscore new depth underscore new contains only one record and the department id there is only 100 so if you try to put a value for the depth underscore id column in the amp underscore new table and this value does not exist in the parent table which is depth underscore new the insert statement will fail you have to put either a value that's matching a value in the depth underscore new or put a null if you try to put a null the insert statement will not fail in this case so as we can see one row inserted so the value here must be either null or a value that's matching a value in that parent table depth underscore new so we can put here for example 100 and we can put here a new record 
2 and the name of the employee Sam and the email Sam at test.com run the statement again one row inserted select from both tables select star from depth underscore new so as we can see depth underscore new contains only one record the department ID 100 so if you want to insert a new record in the EMP underscore new the department ID of that record must match the department ID of the department underscore new table or be not so let's try to select from EMP underscore new so as we can see here we have two records the department ID here null and the department ID here 100 so the department ID value here must be either null or matching a value in the depth underscore new table if you try to drop the table depth underscore new the drop table will also fail as we can see here unique primary key in the table referenced by foreign keys we cannot drop the table if there is a child table referencing this table more about the drop table will be discussed later on in this chapter so in this practice we learn how to define foreign key constraints during creating a table i hope this video was informative for you and thank you for watching